guys, welcome back to Escape. My name is Rachel and I am your Saturdays here on this channel and this week's theme is types of people. Yes, I am wearing the same outfit as some of my older videos because I am pre-filming these because I'm not in the country at the moment. I am not even in Australia. I have no phone and no Wi-Fi, no laptop. I am in the Solomon Islands building a kindergarten. But I'll be back in October, so hopefully you don't mind seeing this outfit in about three videos. Today I will be telling you about different types of shoppers. If you didn't know, I've worked in retail for like three years-ish and I am a shopaholic, so I know quite a lot about different types of shoppers. Number one is probably the type that I am. It's those certain people that when they go into a store, they have to walk around the entire store and examine everything in the store about three or four times before they decide what they're gonna buy and leave. I am one of these people because I wanna make sure that I didn't miss out on anything. And if I'm just going shopping for pleasure, this is what I do. I just walk around the entire shop, examine every piece of clothing, every pair of shoes, make sure I have looked at everything before I walk out of that store because I wanna make sure that I've got the best bargain. I wanna make sure I checked out that sale rack. I want to make sure I checked out those new arrivals because there might be some really cute stuff in there that I need. So I totally admire these types of people because I am one of these people and I think this is the best way to shop. You just need to make sure you really examine the store and you know what you're getting, right? Number two, sometimes I'm like this if I am in a rush. A lot of male shoppers are like this. I'm not saying all, but I know that a lot of them are. Where they walk in, they know what they want to get, they look for it, they get it, they walk out, well, like they pay for it, and then they walk out. And that's the end of their shopping trip. I do this too when I just really want something and I just need it and I want to get out. And these are also the people that get really aggravated in the lines when the lines are really long. Number three, are those mothers that I honestly just admire that bring in their like five children and have to like make sure Tommy's over there and Lucy's over there and they have to just keep them in their like peripheral vision. I swear they've got like one eye going this way and one eye going that way and they just have to make sure they've got an eye on all of their kids otherwise they'll just like run off into the toy section and stuff. How do they do that? What Like I feel like when I'm a mother I wouldn't even go shopping with my child because that would just be really difficult. They just want to touch everything. They probably have sticky fingers. Uh, uh, uh. They want to knock everything down. Like if you are one of those parents that takes your kids shopping and they're like really young and stuff like I admire you Well done. You also have those types of shoppers that literally know nothing about what they want Like I had a guy come in to work the other day and he came and he's like, oh, I want some new thongs And I'm like, oh, yeah, like so what sort of thongs do you want? And he was like, I don't know And I was like, well, do you have any favorite brands? Do you have any type of style that you like? And he was like, no, no, not really And I was like, well, do you want black and white? Do you want some color? And he was like, I don't really care. <laughs> what? Then why? What? What? Those shoppers are really difficult. He's like, I just want some thongs. And I'm like, yes, I understand that, but we have like 50 different types of thongs. So can you please help me out a little bit? But just tell me your favorite color and we can go from there. And he was like, I don't have one. And I was like, <laughs> okay, okay. It's all right, guys. I got him some thongs. He was happy. We're all G. We're all good now. It's fine. We're like besties now. I'm tight. I'm also one of these types of shoppers with my friend Georgia. We're those types of shoppers when we go into Woolworths and we buy like five different packs of lollies and then we stuff them in our handbags and go to the movies. Don't tell me you haven't tried this before because snacks at movies are so expensive, okay? I don't want to be paying $6 for a small drink when I can pay like $3 for a huge iced tea at Woolies, alright? When you go grocery shopping, I don't know if this has happened to you, but it definitely happens to me. Those people that just judge you on what you're buying. Like, why do they do that? Like, you're there, you got your... Tim Tams, you got your Cadbury's chocolate bar, you got some donuts, you got some chocolate cake, and you just don't want to be judged, all right? Maybe you had to do those. Maybe you've been through a breakup. Maybe you're trying to gain some weight for some reason. It's possible. They don't know you. They don't know your story, but they're over there with their shopping trolley, their shopping cart, and they've got the spinach. They got some vegetables. They got their fruit. They got their little blueberries. They got their granola that's like completely healthy, fat-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, everything free. It's basically water. They've got their vegan chicken salad. How does that, I don't even understand how they do that. How do they make meat out of not meat or like animal products? I don't, I don't know. But they're judging you. You've also got those shoppers. There's always that one person who has like 50 items in their shopping cart and thinks it's okay to go through the express lane. Honey, it says 15 items or less for a reason. 
I'll be judging you if you have 16 items and you're going in that lane, let alone 50. So please calm down, reverse that shopping cart out of my express lane and go line up with everyone else who's doing their fortnightly shop, please. You also have those shoppers who need to try on every single item in the store. Why? Trying on clothes is so much effort. I can't be bothered to do that. I have to be wearing the right outfit to even consider trying on anything. Like if I'm wearing skinny jeans and a tight shirt, there's no way that I'll be trying anything on in that shopping trip. I have to be wearing like a loose play suit or jumpsuit or just like some flowy shorts and a t-shirt to be able to try something on because there is no way I'm gonna be able to zip up those skinny jeans twice in one day. If you hadn't heard, I bought some donuts earlier and you can bet your face that I've already eaten like six of them. So no, there is no way that I'm gonna be able to button up these jeans again. But those are some examples of some types of shoppers that I've experienced in my many years of being a shopaholic slash working in retail. If there's a type of shopper that I may have missed, or what sort of shopper are you? Leave me a response in the comments below because I would love to hear from you guys. But other than that, I'll just see you guys next Saturday back here on Escape. Goodbye.